This is Twit. All right, so this is the virtual reality That's right. uh, headpiece that requires a Note 4. Gear VR. <laughs> this it goes over the top of the VR. head. Innovation edition. That's the first time I've ever heard a beautiful orchestral sting, and then this thing appears. It looks like a prosthetic device of some kind. Gear VR, especially for innovative consumers. Oh, it's just hard. It's just hard to take this seriously. She's totally putting that on. Okay. Next new level. So all you need to do is put your Note 4 right in. Is it augmented reality? Can I see the world? Can I walk around? Now you're ready to go anywhere. No, but apparently you can see. Oh, it is augmented reality. There's something like. Well, I'm seeing behind me. It should be. It, it is augmented reality. So it's you using the camera on the phone. Someone said that voice. I've got a couple of acrobats. So it's superimposing it's onto like her view. So you could wear this walking right around. There, because I can turn around now. I, I don't know that. <coughs> and they're carrying on. I mean, it's incredible. Two words. So what you're saying Projectile is vomit. Degree virtual reality <laughs> just by turning your head. It's, it's keeping it's up like with my there. movements as well. There's absolutely no lag. The screen is amazing. You know, I mean, it, Google did demonstrate something like this with their cardboard. Uh, so make it nice. Put, but you do slide the phone into it, much like cardboard. And it's interesting that it's using the camera so that you can, you, you are seeing the world. You could, in theory, walk around with this. And same with cardboard. They, the camera was exposed in the cardboard uh, open source model. Oh, it was? It was. Oh, okay. Um, and it requires app developers for that. But cardboard worked with any Android phone. This works with a tiny number of phones. Only one, the four. Yeah. And because the Note 4 is housed inside the Gear VR, you get to have an untethered virtual reality. Absolutely. I mean, it looks brilliant. Again. I agree. It's so stylish. It wouldn't look Kudos to Samsung for making this. Wait, did she just get so stylish? Yes. She did say stylish. that. Stylish. Well, there's going to be a Swarovski a version of this. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Come on. I'm making yes. that up. I'm no, making that up. There has to be. <laughs> well, it's great. And of course, as you mentioned, in order for people That was the deal. We'll let you put bangles on everything else if you just bangle this. <laughs> without delay or any latency. By the way, they did not mention a price on the, uh, the, industry's on the new Galaxy. No, they did not. Super accuracy sensor into the Gear VR. It she dramatically reduces the yet. processing time to turn motion into pictures. And it processes at a tremendous speed of less than 20 milliseconds. At that rate, <laughs> latency says, isn't this latent. This is the geek version so of the chat. You get that comfortably oh. rich <laughs> VR content delivered. Birth control <laughs> goggles. It's certainly yeah, birth I mean, control. It certainly kept up with me. And Hi. rarely do you, you see something <laughs> that you just know is the future of tech, but this is it and I think <laughs> I don't think so the note 4 screen in here is absolutely incredible because another thing that a VR headset must have this is, is where she's earning content, her money isn't it it sure is and because even though there's no delay in processing content the focus <laughs> will be disrupted if the display resolution is low yeah but that's not a problem with Gear VR because we adopted Super AMOLED, which is the key for providing quad is, HD it is VR. A 1440 that display on your mm -hmm. face. With Gear VR, you'll be you'll be able to enjoy a high resolution. And, display and you know the, the good thing is nobody's going to say how big your phone is when you're wearing that. Right, that's right. Standing <laughs> two meters away from a 175-inch mega screen. <laughs> wow. You're two meters away from a 175-inch display. You know, I don't actually have a wall in my flat that's 175 inches, so... Nobody cares about your flat. For me. If I just yeah. take this now Rachel, and that's really nice to know, but we'll be Grab taking care of the gear VR. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's she wanted it. But, of course, we didn't get there alone with this great capability. We had a great partner. Please welcome to the stage... Oculus. Chief yeah. Technology yep. Officer of Oculus... Yeah. John Carmack. Oh, nice. Okay. So I'm not sure what the Oculus technology though is yeah. in this, right? I mean, they're using yeah, the Note. I mean, it's yeah, it's the phone. It's gonna I have mean, this is basically a headset to you put your phone. Right, I'm in. really excited to finally be able to talk about this. It's been a secret project for too long. So I've dedicated the last year of my life to making the best mobile VR system possible, and I'm really proud of what we've been able to accomplish so far. So a completely mobile VR is a magical thing. You can pick it up and take it with you. You can put it on and say they, it turns Again, that is a very good point that you could walk out the door and walk world. around with this. Yeah. Yeah. But no it's why. a shouldn't. problem to do well. But you we could. We bring a lot of different technologies to bear on this. <laughs> so one of the biggest ones is... It's good Samsung to see an actual geek on stage display. here. Yeah. yeah. The uh, unlike an LCD panel, which can take 10 or 20 milliseconds to change nice the state, the it's Super AMOLED can on, this turn on and off almost instantly. People dress nicely in Germany. This is an NSA and then turn it off a fraction of a frame later, which lets us kill motion blur. 
So now, somebody's saying that they have always used note displays. I don't. Is that the case in the Oculus? Graphics we would be re able to render at the consistent. Original oh, yeah, Oculus was 720p. You know, but actually, Samsung's I think, gotten I think that's us very true. low level access to the hardware platform here, and this has enabled us to develop an innovative software architecture that can continue to maintain yeah, smooth, accurate updates from the head tracking, even when the system is actually overloaded. It's, it's interesting. So, this is really so where Oculus is going is the, the underlying software is the time technology, that it takes not the from hardware. Some motion yeah. of your head until the time that updated light from the display. Apparently, I fix it said the this display the in the, the Oculus was. Latency. Uh, from the Note, this so that's interesting. Well, it's the exact same screen as the, the Samsung display. Galaxy Note 3, so now, okay. it's similar same to what's supplier, the phone, right. I guess. That doesn't, it yeah, five sure. times well, maybe the rate, Samsung makes sense. And it's calibrated Probably do. to a much higher standard of accuracy. Probably do, yeah. Now, unlike a typical touch event that winds through the system through all sorts of different layers, we have a custom kernel driver that our <clears> sensor <throat> talks to, wow. that then talks to our app, this is a cutting out level. a lot of middle metal along the way. Then our applications are run with a real-time scheduling priority. This means that if your email client decides to try to make an update in the middle while you're playing, it can't preempt the virtual reality threats, which is very important. We also have guaranteed clock rates, which is unusual in the mobile world, where clock rates are usually constantly fluctuated to optimize different things. But now developers can choose a specific rate and then optimize for it. All this work for a, a peripheral to one with phone. multiple context prioritized GPU threads. This means that the main world can be drawn at variable rates, while a second higher priority thread is updating the screen in very quick response to the head tracking inputs. This is very, very important for our critical, uh, the, get closing that loop of how you move to what you see. Now, the drawing is done to a completely unbuffered window. There's no page flipping going on here. We're racing the raster, drawing just ahead of the scan mm. that's pulling it out to the Super AMOLED display. And then the display turns on and then turns off again quickly to kill the motion blur. The photons jump off the screen, bend through the lenses, make their way to your it's eyes. Basically frame by frame. And hopefully you say, wow, this is really impressive. <laughs> now, this is just the beginning. We have active technology work going on in all the different aspects here, and we are expecting to make continuous improvements as we go forward, but this is really a landmark first step. So thank you. I'm, I'm wondering what Facebook's involvement is. Of course, they own Oculus. Mm -hmm. John, John, At the time of acquisition, I'm sure this whole deal was well underway. Mm -hmm. and even more delighted to yeah. be taking that first landmark step in this technology with you. Finding great partners is a large part of making that progress. Together, Oculus and Samsung have created, we think, the best mobile virtual reality experience, and we're really looking forward to bring it to market with you. John, In other words, it's way better oh, it's than cardboard. It's a partnership that's allowed us to make this possible. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Great. Thanks, John. The Innovators Edition. Uh, yeah, much like Oculus Rift, the uh, developer's today, edition. I really mm -hmm. do love the Gear VR and the educational possibilities. This is going to ship before Oculus VR. As well. I mean, if you think about it, they're already yeah. training pilots using VR. So Oculus just think Rift, about yeah. the possibilities. If you think about it, we they're already the training pilots using VR. one of these VR. devices in our own homes. So think about it. Limitless. That's, I don't want to think about it. That's one of our it. hopes, Rich. Yet, even with all this cutting-edge hardware and software, in reality, if you will, consumers <laughs> want, need, and deserve exciting content. So without the content, there really is no experience. So we'll be offering you a virtual movie theater of your very own, oh, the Oculus VR Cinema. Engaging virtual reality games and content you can enjoy in a full 360 degree experience. And just like the other Samsung products, we're investing in the mobile VR ecosystem to make sure that top tier partners representing Marvel. a wide range of brands IMAX. have great content in the areas of gaming, entertainment, experiential, and of course, education. Through ongoing cooperation. Jeff uh, Needles points out this would be good on a long flight with with VR. And yep. many other partners will keep working to provide <laughs> really amazing want to get content seasick. for the Samsung yeah. Gear VR.